Well, hello. Let's just take a second and talk about bananas. That's where they come from. If you didn't know that, well, bananas come from flowers, not the store. Super important, fundamentals, okay? They grow on these beautiful things. They grow out of these marvelous, beautiful leaves, which help to capture the sun like a miracle. They turn sunlight into sugar. Fantastically delicious. Now, bananas are one of the rarest of all things on the earth that bear fruit for us because they make food and they make leaves and they make new roots all at the same time. It's incredibly rare. I believe there's only three foods that do it. You wanna see one of the other ones? Come here, check this out. By the way, this is a giant banana flower. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Look at that monster. Just dripping with goodness, nectar. See that, it's about to drip. Makes all the bees wanna get up in there and make those flowers carry out their beautiful process of turning into a banana. Bananas, pineapples are the other ones. <clears throat> That's a whole. But same too with this beautiful fruit right here. Babaya, babaya. This also puts out food continually. It's a kissable fruit. It's the love fruit. It releases uber amounts of oxytocin in your body and makes you marvelously thrilled about life and whoever you might be spending time with. But there's another one that does similarly, which is why if you even kind of can, you should grow pineapple, papaya, and bananas. See that? Look at those bananas. They're so happy. They're so vibrant. And they're just bursting with deliciousness. Look at, there's another one. Look, another one. And you can do this and they'll keep growing. You know what also they love? Pee. Seriously. They love your urine because it's got nitrogen, which is fantastic for plants. They need it. And we have it in abundance. But so too do we have pineapple. You know pineapples grow just like this. Look at that little buddy. Here, I'll show you another one. Pineapple! <laughs> and their blades are like saw blades. Seriously, they're tough. They're rugged. Which is why nothing else eats them but us. Because you gotta get through that thing. Isn't that ridiculous? It takes like not even a little bit. It takes like two years, I think, to pop that baby out. But once it does, you can cut the top off of that, put it in the ground, grow another one. Isn't that amazing? But look at them. They're all back there. Little buddy's just sprouting out. Yay, finally I'm a pineapple. You know what you're supposed to be? Bearing fruit continually. True story. Some seasons, you might be cranking out roots way deep down into the ground so you can tap into that sweet, delicious minerals and vitamins and nutrients that's in the soil and converting it to incredible growth in your life. But other seasons, you're supposed to just be cranking out fruit be fruitful and multiply. Command instruction number one in your life and everybody's. Be fruitful and multiply. Just like this papaya. Because you know what's inside this papaya? More baby papayas. Seeds. Because fruit bears seeds. And seeds can turn into way more trees. More trees means way more fruit. So consider the power of a seed. And then inside this fruit, there's hundreds of more fruit thousands, maybe millions, billions, just in this guy. Kissable papayas. I'll show you what beautiful color they turn. These are the papayas that taste like life. Most of you have eaten poison, nasty, filthy, garbage papayas at Costco. Stop buying your food out of season and it won't be full of death. If you eat food in season, it tastes delicious and it's kissable. Anyways, eat food full of life. Read the word of life and it will give you life so you can be fruitful and multiply. I love you. Live dangerously and grow exotic fruits, even if it's inside.